Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about working with CSV files in PowerShell. So we are going to look at what options are available for us to read CSV files and write CSV files. I'm going to open PowerShell now. Let me open terminal and go to PowerShell. Okay. So let's see, let's start with reading a CSV file. So I have a CSV file here. This is a simple CSV file, which has first name, last name, city department, and some three records. So we're going to see how we can read what options are available to read this in PowerShell. So first, let me go to the directory. I think it's in uh, desktop. Okay, so we have so first option is uh, obvious get content, you can try this option. And if we give path of employees.csv, we can read the CSV file. However, as you see, this is not very structured. And this actually just returns a string. If you just get member to just see what options are available, or what is the data type, right? So if you see the type name is string. So this doesn't help us much because we cannot do many operations on string. So PowerShell offers another option, another command, which is very useful to work with CSV files. So that's, that's import CSV. So you can use this command similar to, similar to the get, get content. And you can specify here employees.csv. Now you see the objects are read in much better way. It has good formatting. It is not just formatting. Actually, it is returning you an object. So if we type the get type this to get member and see, see the type, right? So you see it is a PS custom object. So that means now you have a lot of options to further use this data or perform different options on the data. So let's, let's see if we have this one, what we can do then is you can use where object commandlet and if you want to check anything. So let's say we want to see We can use where last name. Equals and let's say Nick. So now it returns you the record that has last name as Nick. So again, this opens up a lot of possibility for you to do certain uh, many operations with the data. And one another thing uh, that import CSV has is you can also change the header. So suppose you have a CSV file and for some reason you want different headers, right? Then what is already available or you want to select certain certain columns from the CSV file. So you can use like utilize the header option. So then you can change here, maybe employee first name, suppose. Then you want to see EMP last name. Suppose you want only employee first name and last name from all the um, records, right? So you can just specify like this and it's going to now change the header also to what you specified and then return only those columns which you have specified. Suppose you want to have city also and you want to keep the same header. So you can just use the same header and now you get city as well. So this is these are the option available for you to read CSV file using import CSV commandlet. Okay, so now let's move on to the second option of creating CSV and let's see how do we create CSV. So let me clear the screen. Okay, so uh, let's say we want to create a CSV file out of get process, we want to take some process information and 
create a csv file for the data right so let's see what process what information we want in our csv file so let me just run get process and okay so it has process name id csv okay, okay so let me take three parameter process name id and cpu three fields so okay so i'm going to pass this get process and select object we're going to say process name process name id and then cpu okay so it has many records so let's restrict the record to last maybe 10 sorry last 10 okay and let me sort this also with id so let me sort this sort object id okay so now it's sorted with id suppose this uh, suppose we are going to use this and we want to create a csv file for this result so what we can do is we use we pipe this to commandlet export csv and then specify the path let's say in the same desktop path i want to create this process csv and we need to specify also one other node type def no type information by adding no type information parameter we are instructing powershell not to add a line at top of the csv file which it by default add that contains the type of the object okay now if i want to read let me just get content to see if it was created specific path process.csv okay so we see that those were created those information is available and um, so in desktop process csv is also there and if we open this we have the information okay so this is the import csv and export csv commandlet this is how you process or work with csv data in powershell so that's all for this video thanks for watching